The Socceroos lost 2-1, which means that they slipped a third on the table. They're in uh, Group B of their World Cup qualifying, and they're behind Jordan and Japan now, but still with the, some home games to play. However, uh, it's not a good sign for the coach and the rest of the, the team. Let's take a look at the goals. Wrong-footed Luke Wilkshire, and will steam away. Pursued by Yedinak. Down goes Al Safi, and the referee says that's a foul by Yedinak, and Jordan have a penalty. He's made contact. He scores. Hassan Abdel Fattah. And if there was a roof on this stadium, it would have been fairly lifted off by the noise that reverberates around the King Abdullah Stadium. Wilkes are trying to square up the numbers. Odale Safi on the ball. Looking to take on Neil on the outside, who makes the half challenge and they've scored. Amir Deeb, 2 0 for Jordan. Adnan Hamad punches the air. Is that the killer goal in this contest? Uh, Australia have got to score late twice here. Here's Archie Thompson. Chance. Archie Thompson does score. 2 1. Back in the contest. And the Melbourne victory striker on target for the second international in a row. Joy at last for the Socceroo travelling faithful. The full-time whistle goes. Adnan Hamad punches the air. He's done it again against Australia. The King Abdullah Stadium erupts. And you can't say they haven't earned it. A gritty, professional, dogged performance by Jordan. Backed by their incredible supporters. Conversely, it is a worrying night for Australia. So Jordan beating Australia 2-1. It was still quite noisy when Holger Osek was interviewed a little later, but uh, I think we can pick up some of his interview now and also let's hear from Lucas Neal. His appointment is uh, enormous and uh, we had a very, very poor first half. We didn't get into the game. Our passing was a disaster. We never could get into to, uh, our normal rhythm. Nobody's really happy, I mean... We got beaten, we got what we deserved. I mean, we created chances, but really, we, a different team that played the other night against Lebanon. Uh, you know, testing conditions, different pitch, but still we didn't knock the ball around enough in the first half and, and we got punished.